Hello everyone, and um, this is uh, Sean, and uh, today I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, a planet in astrology uh, that is uh, very uh, fundamental for our very existence, and that is the Sun. Now, uh, what exactly is the uh, Sun's uh, role in an astrological birth chart? Well, it uh, represents the uh, very uh, essence of our being, our uh, vitality, our life force. I mean, after all, the uh, sun is a, uh, is a uh, well, it's not a planet per se, but uh, it's a star. And uh, this star uh, emanates uh, energy. And um, energy is, uh, of course, the uh, very uh, essence of our being, the uh, very essence of the entire universe. And um, specifically, uh, the sun... Uh, is what gives us our uh, self-esteem, our uh, willpower, our will to live, our uh, drives, um, the things that uh, motivate us. Uh, depending on uh, the uh, position of the uh, sun placed in an astrological chart, um, it can determine which uh, areas of life um, we uh, give the most meaning to. Uh, so, for example, I'll take myself. Uh, I'm a Virgo, and uh, you you would say that the my uh, sun sign is Virgo, and so uh, the things that I uh, highly value are uh, service to others, uh, duty, um, hygiene, good health, um, perfection. Uh, I might take uh, perfection to uh, to an extreme somewhat, but. Uh, that's uh, an example of uh, what uh, the sun in a sign can do. Now, uh, the sun rules the uh, ast astrological uh, sign of Leo. And um, for those uh, of you zodiac lovers, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, if you're a Leo, you can um, exhibit pride, jo joy, uh, have that uh, childlike uh, awe and uh, inspiration. Uh, you know, you just want to shine. You want to be the absolute uh, best. You uh, just uh, want to be the star of the show, <laughs> the uh, star of the uh, social gathering, I guess you could say. <laughs> and now, it also, the sun, um, in the, it can also uh, determine which uh, area of your uh, life um, I'm referring to uh, which uh, astrological uh, house. Uh, depending on where it's placed, that can uh, have uh, another uh, area of meaning in your life. So um, I'll take uh, myself as an example again. Uh, in my uh, birth chart, I have my uh, son placed in the uh, 10th house. So um, I do have uh, lofty uh, asp career aspirations. Uh, I want to uh, maintain an excellent uh, public reputation. Um, I want to uh, not do anything that could uh, potentially uh, harm my reputation. And uh, yep, just... Um, it's a, it's a uh, common uh, placement for uh, politicians, uh, CEOs, uh, corporate financial officers, and uh, yeah, it, uh, the sun just uh, basically represents uh, what uh, your calling in life can be. So um, you, if, uh, say, you have... Um, the sun in um, the seventh house, for example, which is ruled by the zodiac sign of Libra, then uh, you uh, could place uh, great uh, emphasis on uh, your uh, relationships, uh, not with just not just with your spouse, but um, having the uh, will to um, develop further uh, self-esteem through uh, partnerships, through work. Um, through your family, um, 
but um, mainly between um, your spouse, um, yes, your girlfriend or boyfriend, uh, yeah, that sort of a thing. And uh, it also uh, depends uh, on how well uh, your uh, son is aspected in your uh, natal chart that uh, will give it such strength. Um, if there are uh, a lot of uh, healthy aspects to it, uh, say if there are a couple of uh, trines, uh, a couple of sextiles uh, made to uh, the sun that can um, exhibit uh, a very uh, healthy planet. And um, on, the, on the other hand, it's uh, worthy to note that uh, having uh, too many uh, aspects to the sun and just having uh, an overrepresentation of the sun in the, a chart can make one uh, a little too overbearing for some. So um, I think the greatest example of that would be uh, if uh, somebody was a sun sign Leo, if they had um, Leo as the rising sign, and if they had the sun in conjunction with their uh, ascendant. So yeah. I think uh, a pretty uh, sunny individual uh, right there, but maybe perhaps a little too uh, sunny. Um, not, not, not trying to offend anyone who um, may or may have that uh, kind of configuration in their uh, chart if they're watching. But um, yeah, that's just uh, one thing to uh, know. So uh, I, for. Um, these individuals who have a very uh, powerful sun, uh, yet it, joy, creativity, uh, spontaneity. These are all these are all uh, fun and games, but um, you can um, work to um, work on yourself just to become a little more humble, and uh, yep, you will be able to uh, serve uh, humanity as a whole in a great way. So, um, yeah, um, the uh, sun uh, also radiates uh, joy, happiness, warmth, um, some uh, things that are uh, aspected by the, uh, that are representations of the sun, um, this uh, life force, energy, um, I think uh, another, uh, I think a historical example of um, someone with a, a strong sun would be that of uh, Napoleon. He was a sun sign Leo. Um, yes, I think um, his will to uh, conquer all of uh, Europe was um, evident of uh, the sun um, rising over uh, the world the rest of uh, Western civilization and uh, into R Russia. But however, uh, Napoleon's uh, ambitions grew, grew too large. So when he uh, invaded Russia, that's uh, when uh, that became his undoing. So in that sense, his uh, son began to sink and that uh, culminated when at uh, the defeat, at his uh, defeat at the Battle of Waterloo by the um, British uh, General, the Duke of Wellington. So there's a historical example. Um, yep, yeah. just um, joy, uh, radiance, uh, having such a wonderful glow, uh, your self-esteem, your will, just uh, some of the uh, main attributes of uh, the sun. And, um, yeah, and that basically, um, that's just, uh, my perspective of the, uh, sun in, um, Western astrology. So there you go. I, uh, hope you were satisfied with this, uh, video. Please, uh, like and comment and subscribe to my uh, channel. And this is, uh, Sean. I do thank you for watching and, uh, have a great day.